there guys, Portal Master 9351 here, and in this video I want to talk about when we're going to get more news and what it will be. So, plain and simple, unless the actual official Skylander social media decides to tease anything else, the earliest that we will get more news is June the 14th. Now I know that in the past, or sorry, June the 14th is E3. So, E3, the whole purpose of that is to go and show off new stuff. Not stuff you've already revealed. So we're pretty much almost completely guaranteed to get new stuff there. There's no reason of go to go unless you're going to reveal new stuff. So June the 14th, mark your calendars. We will get news on that day. Unless, well, we'll still get news on that day. But we may get a little bit of news earlier if it's anything like with Trap Team. In Trap Team, we got a silhouette of Gear Shift teased before um, Gear Shift was revealed the next day. And then showcased... Um, the following week at E3, so we may get some news trickling in before E3, but I don't think we will this time. If we do, though, that would be pretty great. So, what will we actually get revealed at E3? Well, one of the things that I really am betting on is the, uh, the Portal of Power. I think they want to do some sort of a big showcase with the Portal of Power. That's why they didn't do it on, on the reveal event. Um, you know, it's been like three or four weeks since the actual reveal event. I know the reveal was not that long ago, but the reveal event was uh, several weeks ago, at least by June 14th, it will have been several weeks ago. So I think that the odds of them having finished or being ready to show off the Portal of Power by now is pretty high. If they haven't, well then, they are pretty much doomed. Honestly, they probably have the Portal of Power ready by then, because I'm almost positive that they already have starter pack figures and portals and stuff in production by now, or at least they're starting um, to get them started now. So if the Portal of Power is not done by now, then that's a problem. So I don't think that they have... I think they just want to do some sort of a big reveal of the new Portal of Power. You know, the Portal of Power is probably the most iconic piece of Skylanders merchandising. And um, I think that they, they're they probably just wanting to do some sort of a big showcase. It's probably some massive overhaul like the Swap Force to Trap Team transition um, was. You know, the Trap Team Portal, complete overhaul of the existing tech, you know. Uh, SSA to Giants, that just changed a couple of minor things, and it wired all portals. That was the biggest change there. Giants to Swap Force, minor changes. I mean, it still obviously was a portal of power. You could tell that that was a portal of power. Trap teams, though, totally different. Completely and totally different. Superchargers, same basic structure as the Trap Teams portal, but totally different look. So, I expect a similar structure, but a totally different look. Much like like I said, Swap Force to Trap Team. So there's that. Um, as for whether or not we'll have a trap slot or not, I'm still not positive. I don't think it will, though. But, hey, who knows? Because um, I think that by not putting a trap slot in there, they would encourage you to go get Superchargers or Trap Team and go get a trap-compatible portal. I think that that would be pretty big motivation to go do that. Um, I think that if the guest star is a Nintendo character, it will be revealed at E3. I don't see it any other way. If it's a Nintendo character, it's coming at E3. They at one point said that they were not going to be showing off, Nintendo did, anything more than their Zelda game. Now they're saying they're going to be showing off other stuff um, as well. Uh, Zelda will be the only playable game, though. I don't, I don't know what the new Zelda game is. I just know it will be the only playable game at E3 for them. So, if it's as I predicted and Ganondorf is the guest villain, then perhaps they'll be revealing him alongside of their Zelda-focused E3 presence. Um, I think that it makes sense to do that. So, if it's a Nintendo character, it will be revealed at E3. If we don't get the guest character revealed at E3, it's probably Crash Bandicoot. That's, I think that's the simplest way to put it. They do have Nintendo Directs where they do reveal more stuff every now and then, but um, I think that they'll want Activision and Nintendo to be present at the same event in which they reveal more guest stars. So, there's that. Um, as far as character reveals, so I think that we'll see Wolfgang actually at E3. So we'll probably see the normal color variation of, of Wolfgang, and we'll probably actually see some gameplay of the new Wolfgang figure. I don't know if he was intentionally revealed yet, or if that was a leak. Um, it's not really been said. I assume that it was an intentional reveal, as Skylanders Game has posted now pictures of him on their website, um, on, on the social media, although I don't know if that was because it got leaked or what. 
Either way, he's out there now, so I can almost guarantee you that he will be showcased at E3. Now, I also think that we'll see two to three other scene characters. What I mean by scene characters are characters that we know exist but don't know anything about. So there are currently four seen but unknown characters. Um, five, if you count Peñata, which has been heavily implied, and there may be a small picture of Peñata. Um, I'm going to edit in some pictures over here of these actual characters in case you haven't seen them. So I'm going to move over here so I have more room to edit them in. So we've seen a life character that appears like to have a sword, a samurai-looking sword. Um, and he's in some sort of a very, like, Zen looking position. He's in a very interesting position. And I, you know, he was in the actual official logo. We also saw a new fire character that heavily resembles Torch um, and is very humanoid, but appears to have Smolder Dash's uh, fire whip thing. Um, so she was also in the main logo. Um, there was an air character that we saw, um, and he was in the actual trailer. He was kind of like, you couldn't see anything but his eyes. Um, the rest of his face was blacked out. He had some sort of a hood on, and that was really all you saw of him. You may have seen him, like, ripping around some tornadoes, but I don't know if he, I don't know if he actually had a weapon or not. Um, the picture's up there, so if he does, I'm, I apologize. I can't remember what they look like off the top of my head. We also have an unknown water character that looks to be like a quick shot type character um, with two different guns. And she's um, she is a water character, quite obviously. Um, so that's the four scene characters um, and plus Peñata, uh, which you can see up there, was actually put in like a trailer and it's only half of his body. So it's the color scheme, but we're still not sure if it actually is Peñata, although it probably is Peñata since he's basically been confirmed at this point. So I expect that we'll see Peñata and probably a couple other characters um, that we have seen, but but that's all we but we only seen them, don't know anything about them. Now, some of you people might be thinking, well, we can rule out the water character. We probably won't see her at E3 because they probably wouldn't want to reveal both the water characters so early on. I have to disagree with you there because we got Gear Shift and Jawbreaker uh, both revealed within a week. They revealed Gear Shift before E3 and they revealed Jawbreaker at E3. So those were revealed so close together right right after Trap Team was announced. I mean, it was a month and a half after Trap Team was announced, but still, both tech characters were known before I think we knew about any of the magic characters and, um, yeah just the magic, or the life. We, we hadn't learned any magic or any life, and we already knew both water characters, and there was a big backlash over that, um, but I, I, I wouldn't say it's impossible for them to reveal both water characters so early on, but you never know, really. We'll probably see um, one to two new levels, so <coughs> um, we'll prob they'll probably reveal more uh, storytellers like Jetvac, and we'll probably see the theming of these two levels, and we may actually, actually, blah, may actually, actually, we may actually learn the approximate length of the game and how it will be broken up. Will it be like superchargers with a ton of different chapters in one chapter? Will it be like SSA with like levels that were just like a bunch of little levels that were all their individual thing? Um, or will it be like Swap Force with hour and a half levels? I hope it's not like Swap Force. I hope it's like Superchargers. Um, we'll probably learn the level, so level structure, length of game, all that type of stuff. Um, and two new levels in addition to that. Um, we'll probably also learn a new character that we haven't even seen yet. So, not, not the light character, not the fire character, not the air, not the water, and not Peñata. Probably someone we haven't seen before, whether it's a villain, whether it's not a villain, I have no idea. Could be the guest star, but I do think that we will see some character that we have not seen before. Um, just because they usually like to reveal new stuff that we haven't seen yet, um, at E3. So, you know, there's that. We'll probably also see some more options in the creation menu for the new characters. Um, and we may actually learn some of the new classes, what they actually do. Like Sentinel. What does a Sentinel do? Who is a Sentinel? I'm really hoping that they have some hands-on gameplay and allow you to actually create your own characters while you're there so that someone can see what a Sentinel is. I know what a Sentinel is in real life. Like, a Sentinel is a guardian and... Uh, Egyptians would create giant stone statues that they would call sentinels to stand outside of their, uh, like, their, their emperor or their, what, are, what do they call, pharaoh. 
their pharaoh's tomb, they would have these gigantic stone sentinel-like things. They were supposed to guard them or something like that. Um, so I assume a sentinel is a guardian, but like, what does that mean? And why does it have that double-edged sword? But anyways, I'm hoping that we learn about that at E3, and I'm hoping that some of the new characters that we get revealed are some sort of a class that we haven't seen in action yet. I'm really curious what the fire character's class is going to be and what the air character's class is going to be. Um, life is probably like a knight. That's what I'm assuming for the life character. Um, the water character is most definitely a quick shot. So, anyways, um, yeah, I have no idea. Um, I'm really hoping that we see more stuff, and this is kind of what I think we could see at E3. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys today. This has been Portal Master 9351. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!